<laughs> hi guys um you know the table saving doesn't say hi guys apparently it's not cool to say hi guys we should say i forgot what she said we must say like we must have like a, a special greeting and not say hi guys how do you feel about it <laughs> sub gumeta squad oh <laughs> sub gumeta squad whatever it is <laughs> Uh, Lita, but just hit us up in the comments and let us know what we should, how we should greet the peeps. <laughs> yes, tell us how should uh, how how must we do it? Like, yeah. must we say? Um, do me do me got got to me guys. Some man, some man, some come how. Kapalimere greetings in the wonderful name of our, our Lord, Lord and, and Savior, Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ, who who died Christ. for our sins yes. at Nazareth. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> the white snow. <laughs> oh, sins are forgiven. <laughs> so, guys, today we have a very hot topic. Uh, before we get to the topic, I just need to put a disclaimer. We've been trying to shoot the whole day as per usual. Our baby would not sleep. So, he's in the mix. If you hear. A little bit of a sound just know it's him trying to add on to what he's saying yeah ignore him like or just say hi to him but yeah. he's not gonna we're not gonna put him in the video we're just gonna let him stay there he's currently looking at us hi Hazzy. What's up, hello Sanjay? okay cool <laughs> before he starts responding mm -hmm. okay so today's hot topic is cheating i know I know it's like a hard topic. So for me, Linda said I must come up with a hard topic today. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask like who, who suggested a topic, but anyways, okay. Okay, cool. so we had two topics that we had to choose from. I'm not gonna say the other one because it has to be like a. Can I say it? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So the other one was Labola. Uh, what our um, experience? Experience and um, perspective. Perception, perception, perspective, perspective, perspective. of what Labola, um, yeah, of Labola, and the other one was cheating. So I thought, let's talk about cheating and let's from two perspectives. So one from what causes it. Obviously, it's 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 obviously it's like um, an individual's motive like it can't be like okay guys cheat because of this like mm. there's no one answer mm. and also there's no one answer as to how the person that is being cheated on feels mm. like there's no so we're just gonna share our experience mm -hmm. and obviously this is something that we're putting on the table that yeah. we are not condoning we're talking about this and we're not condoning it we're taking basically how we grew through it and don't do it it destroys relationships it destroys beautiful things so don't do it like don't do it so which one do we start with do we start with yeah we have to start with um how the motive behind it the motive the reason why let me rather personalize the reason why i cheated yeah, so a little bit of a background story. Um, Lyndon and I dated since 2013, March. And in twenty in the same year around October, October, like September, October. Mm -hmm. We started having problems and in those problems, um he had a a time where he cheated and we separated and all of that. So we're not going to give the full story um, like as in, in one, we're going to give the story as we explain how it went and how it feels and whatnot. So that's how we're going to, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So you want to know what the reason is? Yeah. So I remember how it started. It started with you saying that uh, you think that we shouldn't carry on with the relationship because you felt even though you didn't say it in so many words, but you felt bored and you felt trapped or yeah, that's what you said. Felt bored and trapped and then I was like, okay, no, we can make it work. What do you want us to do? Do you, you want us to have more fun? Uh, what kind of fun do you want to have and all of that? But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I think uh, there's lots of reasons for cheating. 
but um, in the time being, I know that when I dated Big Meadow, she had never dated before. So um, yes, there were boring moments, and yes, there were. It felt like I was dating a granny. Sorry for saying it because uh, she too complacent and too boring, and there was not there was nothing fun happening. Like. Can you please make things fun, you know? First of all, I haven't dated before, so I don't know what date people do. Brit Melo couldn't even kiss, like, we couldn't even kiss, like, it was that intense, it was that bad. Like, I feel even, like you're making it sound even, worse than it was. Even cuddling was hard. Don't lie. Was it not? No. Okay. For you, okay. It First wasn't. of all, okay. um, For you, it wasn't. my love language. So, Yes, tell us. Um, tell us what is it is. Physical touch is the fifth one. Yes. So it, 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 what is it's your love hard language? for me to get to that place. Let's ask her first. What's your love language? My first one is words of affirmation, whereas your first one is physical touch. And there was a gap in that. Her love language is words of affirmation, acts of service, Never. quality time, no. all at once. No, no, you're getting them wrong. Okay, keep all the story, keep the story, it's not that. But in any case, they're all at once. So, partially, yes, uh, it is because of boredom and because I had certain expectations that were uh, not met. I wanted to have fun, I wanted to play soccer, I wanted to do stuff. So, those things were not met. And then, um, while I discovered someone who was that, so then I was like, oh, that's so interesting. But, like, how did you discover this person? Was it by default? Did you go looking? Or did it happen? Did it just happen? Like, how did you get to that place? So, what happened was the person. Um, Actually, I've never asked this before. Yeah, but in any case, the person is was in the same high school, but also our schools are almost were interconnected in a way mm -hmm. uh, because we came both from a performing arts and ministry school, so they were interlinked in a way. The one that was in Houghton, one was in. Cape Town, so those schools were intellect, so that's how we got to know each other. But I'll be also honest, the reason why I also cheated was because of confusion. I was confused and I liked both worlds. I liked what Guitimelo offered, um, but I felt like she could be more fun and playful. And I liked what the other person offered. Um, she was playful and interesting, but there was just a lot more, there was a lot more something that i enjoyed a lot more from beauty metal which was you know character love for god ambition she was going somewhere yeah you, you you didn't say how how it happened like did you meet on at the school or like how did it get to that place of you being interested in another person like how did it get to that place obviously we started as friends so yeah. obviously we knew each other from the schools and then I got her numbers, I think it was on Facebook, and then uh, we started chatting and chatting and chatting. And then it escalated to being a friendship, and then I started visiting her, and then I saw, oh, you're very interesting, oh, we're playing soccer, oh, we're doing this, oh, we're playing cricket, oh, this person's very nice. And then, you know, you get to know the family, and then it goes and goes and goes, and then uh, I think uh, we were having our own issues, and then we decided, well, then the person, I decided then to mm. cheat. Oh, okay. So it was like a, a conscious decision, like it wasn't a... Okay, obviously it started not consciously, but the cheating, like you developing feelings was conscious. Yeah, kind of, sort of. But obviously it also... Like, also our relationship also was also contributing to that, not because of any negative reason but then we were not yeah. as so you were getting what you were not getting yes yeah okay yes okay. yeah but I it was also confusing yeah. because i could have said i could have yes. drawn the line and said okay b you're not meaning for me so i'm going to the next person yeah but i also like what you had to offer so it was a state of just confusion confusion and i think a lot of people like him saying that it's not him saying that guys or girls should cheat when confused hi azzy it's not them it's not him saying that a person should cheat when they're confused he's saying that he was confused at that time mm. and i think what 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 do you think you could have 
trying to avoid the cheating. Yo, hey. ah, this is such a hard one. Um, brr, brr, brr. There's two options. It's either I end the friendship with uh, the other person and I try to work on our relationship or I end our relationship and I continue with the other person. I think we have tried to uh, uh, communicate it as well, um, but maybe I was... No, 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 like the issue of um, being more like with regards to the physical touch, with regards to the playfulness. Yeah. I think we did communicate that together. So um, yeah, it was either I had to trust the process that you would eventually yeah. um, fulfill yeah. my needs mm. or I, you know, end this relationship and I jump into the next one, which is also dangerous. You don't want any rebound, but in any case, it's not a rebound situation, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think um it, it's 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 such a, a selfish um state to be in because at this point you are thinking as much as you're thinking about both parties but you're also mostly thinking about yourself because you're thinking I need this and I need this is what I need and this is what I'm getting this from here and then I'm getting that from there and did you consciously think this is gonna hurt someone someone's gonna get hurt or there is Were definitely... you fully aware that I am literally cheating with them? Um, I think being a Christian convicts you a lot. Um, and, um, you know, praying and, you know, God reminding you, oh, yeah, Tanda Zamara, you are doing one, two, three, mm -hmm. you know. So that definitely... Um, I knew like every person who does something that is wrong knows that the end result is going to be someone getting hurt. Yeah. Regardless of whatever you do, mm -hmm. you know, Uguti, I'm taking a risk mm -hmm. and this risk might cause people, uh, to, be people to be hurt, might cause me to be hurt. So I think I was just a coward enough not to, not to choose one. Yeah. You know, um, as I say, yes, I was confused, but I could have been yeah, more sure. assertive to what I wanted and just went with uh, what was on the table and just yeah. take And I think that's the biggest lie, to think that you can get 10 out of 10 from someone. It happens, mm. but it's never really perfect. Like, it's not, you could never tick all the boxes. Even if you tick all the boxes, the... the um, As easy agrees there. <laughs> mm. The level, and let's say I want a tall guy the level in which the tallness that i want might not be the one that i want but he's tall you know what i'm, what I'm trying to say is even if you get what you want it might not be in the same way that you thought of it or in the same way that you wanted am i making sense yeah it makes sense sometimes you need to compromise that's you what need, you're saying yeah that's what relationships are like you have to compromise Sometimes okay. you want a dark skinned guy and then you meet a light skinned guy who has all the other requirements yes. but then he's light skinned. He's light skinned. So, so now are you gonna cheat on him because he's light skinned? Yeah, that's partially the reason why I cheated on her. Because of that. Because of? Not your light skinnedness. Oh, just I like that she was dark. <laughs> just because, you know, partially playfulness. You wanted someone who was a bit taller but ish. So yeah, no, so yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, for me at that point, uh, when everything was happening, obviously, so I come from a broken family, so relationships weren't really a thing for me, like I wasn't, like, my friends were surprised that I'm in a relationship, so a relationship wasn't really a thing for me, I was... I think I had trauma, you know, and I just didn't, like, I wanted it to work so bad that you almost mess it up. Like, you always, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you want something to work so bad that you almost mess it up. Like, I wanted perfection because I didn't want to be where my parents were. So I wanted this perfect picture. 
and it wasn't real and like it could work for a while the perfection could work for a while but after some time the reality kicks in and it, it, you just cannot get it um also my perception of relationships i didn't know that people have fun in relationships so i was this serious um romantic type of person in a relationship but with my friends i am more of myself so i i think i thought i don't know what i thought today i don't remember because that's like uh, well, seven years ago wow seven years ago that's hectic okay <laughs> okay that's a long time ago okay yeah, so that, that was seven years ago so i don't know what what i thought but another thing is that as a person i take a long time to open up to people like I, I take a long time to open like to show my personality to people i only show it to a, a certain type of like a certain group of people not because i don't trust or anything i think it's just how my personality is set up like i don't give off myself to just anyone you know like if you get what i mean so i am as reserved as i am outgoing so depends whether you're a friend or not like if you're a friend you i'm outgoing but if you're not a friend i'm reserved so i'm as reserved as i am outgoing but there's levels to this friendship yeah you just, she's trying to say that she needs to connect to your soul but she's not putting it in those words but anyways continue <laughs> that's true like if i don't connect with your soul i can give you a little like i, I do try to give off myself but I'm not that free but if i connect with you deeply within my soul then if i feel safe i think it's a matter of being feeling safe if i feel safe then yeah and i think i wasn't feeling safe because not because of him i wasn't feeling safe because i wanted perfection and i was too scared to show my imperfections i was too scared to be anything other than perfect so there was that as well okay that um when the cheating happened i remember the like i found out in december guys for days i didn't eat for days i didn't eat i couldn't sleep i've never been so heartbroken in my life <laughs> you were i've never been so like I, I have been heartbroken but because of other stuff not mm. something that is Hi boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Shut up there. I've never been broken for something that is straight cutting mm -hmm. to me, you know, like something that attacks me like personally. So yeah, it, I was very heartbroken and I think You lost a lot of weight. I You lost a lot of weight. She was no, she lost a lot of weight. She I lost a lot of weight because I wasn't, I couldn't eat. Like, I, I tried, but I, I couldn't. Guys, what's my game? Like, I, like, I, I want to describe <laughs> how much weight she lost, but I can't describe how much. This is how much. We do it was like this, and then she became like this. <laughs> That's how much weight she lost. Like, she was this. Kuri, even her mom was so concerned. Like, my mom was so concerned, and I couldn't tell her. Like, not not because not because of anything but i didn't want like for me i don't want my mom to be like too involved in my relationships because people break up and they come back together um and sometimes i feel this way about mm. and tomorrow i feel different you know unless if it's something serious like if it's something like um uh, gender-based violence then but then if it's something like um i'm annoyed or whatever like, she doesn't have to know it's just you know, she, so um how i felt i think the biggest scam was that i felt inadequate and that's the biggest scam that's the biggest lie like yeah. cheating makes you feel inadequate you think i remember thinking what is it about this girl like what is it about her that i don't have i went stalking I tried to see what she likes uh, and the more I search and see who she is 
So the more I stalk her, mm. the more I see that she's this, she's that, she's this and that. And it just broke me. It made me feel like I'm not good enough. I'm not wanted. If I could just be like this, then maybe Linda would accept me. If I could just do this, maybe Linda would. But it took me a lot of self-talk and a lot of, yeah, it took me a lot of self-talk and prayer, guys. Like, when you're heartbroken, you pray. Mm. You pray like, no, it's like, have you, have you been heartbroken to a point of asking God to take away the pain from you? Yes, mm. that's how heartbroken I was. Mm. I was asking God to take away the pain. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so I think what took me out of that place was, one i i remember i told i spoke to Dindani and i said to him this behavior is something that i don't expect from him it's something that is out of his character and i know that he's better than this like i know i know him i know that he's better than this like this is way out of character but also there was also that truth that maybe that's what he does maybe it's a thing for him you know like everybody has his own their own flaws maybe this is a thing for him and we spoke and spoke and when I she said, told me that i thought she's crazy like what lawyer and petty layers i guys go to like and i'm finding uh some sort of satisfaction from a yeah. satisfaction from another person and yeah yeah so, but then, but like on the last stroke though, mm. then I said to you, um, either you stop all of this and you prove to me that you've stopped and you're not going to do this again, or I, I go, like, I can't, I can't keep hating myself. I can't keep like, you know, I can't, I can't because it's, it's torturing me. I can't do this to myself. And I remember you begging me and saying that you will you will fix it will fix it and you will make it better like what made you decide okay i choose this one um i think i said it in the beginning but it was i said it from the beginning but it was probably a matter of um i had to weigh what i like I had to weigh both weaknesses and strengths from both people and I also chose what I thought was best what I thought was the best also I prayed about it a lot as well and prayed like God who do I choose this person or that person and uh, it's 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 so interesting that um God doesn't kind of choose for you. Yeah. And you choose for yourself. And it's your responsibility to involve God in the relationship. Mm. But, you know, I was like consciously, constantly waiting, God, who, 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 who. So it was a state of confusion. But yeah, I loved what we could have had. I loved her mind. I um, loved the fact that she had a lot of leadership and she likes to challenge me so um yeah i like that i like being challenged because i want to go further in life and i thought this is someone that i can build my life with and uh build our empire with so we'll get to the empire part <laughs> because life is so fun and now. i ended up being so, fun say that she ended up being fun she ended up giving birth to a beautiful child who is azizi Musa went goes, Kwabe, yeah, yeah, Pagatra, you go mad, dead. He's so amazed. But yes, um, Wikimela is, is very funny and um, very humorous. <laughs> um, the fun is getting there, but very humorous. Like, I enjoy her jokes. That is fun. You know, as Zizi just had fun now. But I'd also love to have fun as well. Can we have fun? Yes, we can. Okay, we will. Let me let me let me finish what we I want to say. Let me finish. But how did you feel in the process of pain? Um, uh, yeah, as I said, um, a lot of self loathing, a lot yeah. of um rejection, sure. you know, like self rejection and sure. all of that. 
but I think the biggest miracle for us, which I think it's a, a blessing, is that we went through it. It was difficult. The remedial phase was very difficult. The was. Getting out of it, I think it took us a year to be fully solid again. Like it took us a year to to being solid again. I was still uh, insecure, trust issues. Like I was so, I had so much trust issues, especially like with his phone, whatever. I had a lot until after a year. One morning I woke up and I was like, wow, I like, it's, it's, it's not there anymore. So I think the key to overcoming it, you both need to be willing yeah and if you're gonna give someone somebody a chance know that you trust yourself to go through the process of healing yeah and is this person worth it for me Lindani was worth it because i loved his character i loved his personality i loved his leadership skills i loved how he loves god and him as a person i know that he's a he's a good person with a good heart so I wanted that, but I knew for sure that if he does it again, I'm, I'm out. I'm going to count everything out because I'm not going to stand for cheating. I'm really not going to stand for it. I'm giving it a chance once and then it's not going to happen again. So if you know that um, that is a deal breaker for you, then yeah, if it's a deal breaker for you, then go out. Don't stay. If you feel like you can give a person another chance, give them. But above all don't blame yourself even if no matter what the situation is don't think ah because she's fun i need to be more fun oh because she's this i need to be don't blame yeah. yourself it's a personal decision that he made and it's all on him mm. and he, he needs to work on it and vice versa obviously we're not saying that it's only guys that cheat girls as well mm. whoever is cheating it's their problem and they need to work on it it's not the next person's problem mm. unfortunately you get hurt as the next person you but do. um you need to trust your process of healing we heal and we never thought we'd talk about this especially in the in the way that we're talking about it now we never mm. thought we did and honestly it's just the grace of god how we've overcome that hurdle and i think by far it's the greatest hurdle we've ever had yeah 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 probably is yeah yeah um what was i going to ask there was another question that i was probably going to ask but i just forgot to ask but anyways um yeah you you answered it and it's so important <laughs> lastly that we need to um well, as a couple learn to communicate your needs and be willing to meet each other halfway yeah yeah and then also number two for a guy who has cheated and you really want to change like i'm talking to the people who really want to change not people who want to continue the journey if you feel like you want to continue i is our colleagues but i want to talk to the men who are like serious who have made mistakes and who are saying Uguti, i want to change i want to be a better person i want to commit this time uh, i want to fix myself i want to be uh, a person who will build my family my community talking to those gentlemen and this is what i want to say to you it's very important it's very very important i think i took about three four five years wow. dealing with this it's wow. very important to forgive yourself forgive yourself you'll make mistakes in every relationship that you are in you'll make mistakes whether you're a woman whether you're a man Learn to forgive yourself. I, I had to forgive myself. Learn to forgive yourself. And the guilt hit because I was also a youth pastor. Mm. And how do I talk to boys who I'm trying to help to become better men who will love their spouses? It was difficult and I had to learn to forgive myself. So forgive yourself. Very important. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Okay, we out. Uh, we're gonna go have fun. Go to where are we going? And then it's taking us to the park. I don't know what we're gonna do at the park. At a certain park. At a certain park. I don't know what we're gonna do. It's oh a my child friendly park. <laughs> the child friendly park. And yeah, we're gonna have fun. What? Was this part of the fun that you were doing? Yes, I think I always do that. This is dangerous.
<laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, show your friends to show their friends to show their friends. Cheating is not right. Yeah. It can be healed. Yeah. And uh, for more information on how you can be a better man, follow Lindani on Instagram. That's Lindani dot mm -hmm. g mm -hmm. dot mm -hmm. Aye, man. Aye, man. Aye, <laughs> and for more midweight maintenance follow booty matter at boity dot gumede no nope. underscore underscore gumede <laughs> what did i want to say oh it. by the way um please do leave questions comments yes, if yes, you are yes, interested yes, and if you yes, feel like we've yes, left out yes. something very important yeah. that you'd like us to answer please leave and then we'll try our best to answer where we can don't forget to subscribe as Sub well. Subscribe, please, please subscribe. subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Please okay. subscribe. Okay. 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 Bye now. Bye now.